before I came here, I, I didn't have any, I didn't have a choice. I was a total slave to opiates. And now I leave here and, and I have a choice for the first time. a lot of stuff, people getting killed, friends getting killed, getting blown up, and it takes a big toll on me. It causes PTSD, TBI, especially getting blown up, traumatic brain injury, it's a big thing with that. Especially if you hit a really big IED or something. I would just say to any veteran out there that has PTSD or TBI, to come here, this is a great place to take good care of you. It really works. It is no stimulus technique. It needs to be studied well. Understanding the subconscious and knowing the technique to use to get into the deep in the subconscious, pull the trauma out and let it go. Your job is now not to be addicted to it. Let it go, it's over. I've seen it happen over the last week or so. And I was with David eight years ago for the same PTSD, trauma, and, and suboxone. I didn't really see much of him or talk to much of him, but he'll tell you after we've become real good buddies, shared our uh, you know deepest traumas and things that happened in our life. I've seen the transformation of Logan over these last eight days, and he's talking about all these things that happened to him now. His face is lit up, his eyes are brighter, he's, he's full of life again. You know, that's why we love to do this. Logan's gonna stay in touch with us for a long time in the future, hopefully reach more veterans, more people, and getting down here, overcoming the fear, because this is real. Me, Logan, you know, hundreds, thousands of other people. And Logan almost didn't didn't come to us, right? Should yeah. talk about what happened, because he, crazy story. Uh, I, called, I, I called a bunch of different medics trying to figure out where to go. But they wanted me to switch to a short acting opiate, because not that it's a long acting. So it's locked on. David here is that they didn't need me to switch to a short acting opioid. And the crazy thing about that other clinic is I had to fly uh, to San Diego, meet up with a guy, and pay $2,000. Like I put a $2,000 deposit down. They wanted me to take the morphine for 21 days without methadone before I came there. And this is my seventh day. Tomorrow will be eight. Yeah. Do you have any withdrawal? No. Did you have the withdrawal at first? Oh yeah. Well, when I first got here, I was in withdrawal. Well, I mean, I was pretty high when I first got here, I'm not gonna lie. Probably that second day, I was in withdrawal for sure. And I still felt like a little, a little, you know, just not 100%, but heck of a lot better. And the importance of staying positive. I've seen a lot of people come through, right? We've been working together for the last eight years, me and David. And Logan came in, you know, with the positive attitude, although you could see the hurt and pain on his face that has been numb for so long, he truly wanted to be better. So he had a couple of days of feeling down, your body's going through a major reset, but he was positive the whole time. It, it helped open him up. He's, me and him sat for you know hours outside, you know, just shooting the shit, talking. And you really see it in, in all the people who come here, the ones who are, are positive, who want to be better, who want more out of this life, who want to be, strong for themselves and their family and their loved ones who want to do positive things in this world before they leave it. They do the best. Before I came here, I didn't, I didn't have any, I didn't have a choice. I was a total slave to opiates. And now I leave here and I have a choice for the first time. Exactly. You get let go of the traumas now, you get rid of them, it's over. And now go live your life and make your family happy. That's so important for me to know that your family is happy your wife, your kids, and you're doing very well. God bless you. I wish you all the luck. It was a pleasure to meet you. We're going to be friends for a very long time. It's all. I'm burning the rest of these opiates and uh, done with them. Light her up.
Tell me, what's this signify for you watching this burn? This signifies the end of allergy addiction. Of allergy addiction. So before I came here, I was on uh, 130 milligrams of methadone a day, plus anywhere from 300 to 600 milligrams of morphine a day. Like most of you, I called around to a bunch of different clinics. I never will to take like the methadone patients. So I ended up finding David, David Dardasti, came here. And uh, eight days, no withdrawals. If you're looking for a place, this is a, good, this is a great place. All right, brother. Thanks for sharing your story here. And uh, best of luck to you when you head home. I know you're going to do great. I know you're feeling good and strong. I'm, you know, we're all really happy for you and hope to stay in touch for a long time in the future. Thanks, bro. Thanks, brother. That's it. Let it burn.